If you're wanting to learn what passive income is and some different ways to make passive income in 2020, then keep watching because we're going to be diving right into that in this video. Hello everyone, my name is Zach Isaac, also known as Vanilla Chief, and you're watching Skill Sanctum, a place to grow, learn, and succeed. I hope you are having a great day, thanks for clicking on this video, and let's get right into what you came here for. So before I get into some different ways to actually make passive income, let's take a brief look at its actual definition. So passive income, for anyone new to the concept, is income that you continue to earn after doing doing the original upfront work for it. Basically, it's money that you can make while sleeping. But many times it does take a while to get to that point and a lot of effort and work up front. But if you do things right and establish a good foundation for your money making system to continue working for you in the future, your passive income stream or streams can potentially make a lot of money on their own, which would allow you to spend more time doing the things you enjoy rather than trading time for money. Some people enjoy working every day and trading time for money the traditional way which is great and we need people like that but if you're not one of those people passive income gives you the ability to make money without you actually being in the picture and having to spend every day doing the work to maintain that flow of income Warren Buffett famously said if you don't find a way to make money while you sleep then you will work for your entire life that's not always the case with everyone some people are good at saving money and they actually retire with decades worth of supporting income. But if you're not good at saving money, then keep watching. So now that we have a good idea of what passive income is, let's go over some different ways to actually make that income. So there are a ton of different routes that you can take to start up a self-sufficient money-making system that can support you for years to come. But here are the top five ways that I actually know how to make passive income. Number one, the stock market. This is a great way to make passive income, especially if you are a long-term investor. Some people say the stock market is too risky, it's more of a gamble rather than an investment, but in reality, if you just know what you're doing and study up on the companies that look to be profitable investments, you can potentially make big money in the stock market. You've probably heard the saying before, but if you bought a thousand dollars worth of Amazon shares when the company first came onto the market, that humble investment would be worth over a hundred thousand dollars today. And although it took several years to actually reach that amount of money, the crazy thing is you didn't really have to do any work for it. After you make your original investment, your money will simply accumulate over time without you having to actively do anything with it. And if you're not wanting to make long-term trades, you can also just buy shares in high dividend stocks, which are basically just companies that make so much money that they share a piece of their profit with their investors throughout the year. Some companies pay as much as 10% interest quarterly on the money that you have invested in them, which definitely beats the 0.0 percent you may be getting from your local bank the stock market has made billionaires over the years so if you're looking for a passive way to have more than you need for an early retirement the stock market is a worthy option to look into get it option <laughs> yeah let's move on on to passive income stream number two social media or more specifically in this case YouTube YouTube has definitely made a lot of average people rich and famous over the past decade or so, but what used to be seen as a joke platform for young people to waste their time making random videos has now become a viable money making option for everyday people. There are several ways to make money on YouTube, from sponsorships to brand deals and more, but the most passive and built in way is through Google AdSense. Basically how it works is once you reach a thousand subscribers and 4,000 hours of watch time, whenever you upload a video, YouTube will pay you a certain amount of money every time one of the ads in your video gets clicked on by your viewers. The more videos you have and the more viewers you pull in, the more money you can potentially make. Some people may argue that YouTube isn't really passive income because you have to continue to upload videos to maintain a consistent revenue, 
but even if you stop uploading for a while, the videos that you've already posted are going to continue to get watched and remain profitable. You may not be making as much as you would if you were constantly uploading, but the point of passive income is making money while you're inactive. So if people are watching videos you've already finished and posted and they're making money for you while you're sleeping or off on vacation, then consider it passive income. Number three, affiliate marketing or affiliate links. This is probably one of the most passive money making avenues out there. Affiliate marketing overall is the process of an affiliate getting a commission for marketing the products of another company, which is basically saying that you can get paid if you promote someone else's stuff, particularly on your blog, channel, website, etc. One popular way anyone can do this is through affiliate links. So let's say for example you signed your YouTube channel up for Amazon's affiliate program. When you leave links to certain Amazon products in your description box and people click on those links and actually buy those products, Amazon pays you a commission from that sale. Because if it weren't for you directing that customer to Amazon through the links in your description, that person most likely would not have bought that product. So Amazon just wants to make sure you're getting part of the profit for giving them business. This is very passive because once you paste the links to your social media account, whatever that may be, as long as people are still clicking on those links and buying those products, you will continue to generate income from those links, which could all be happening around the clock no matter where you are or what you're doing. Amazon is one of the most popular affiliate programs, but there are also countless more. Once you have a good following and a steady flow of traffic clicking on the links you've shared throughout all of your content, over time you can earn thousands of dollars a year just from leaving a company's links on your account. Most people may not be able to rely on this for their main source of income, but it definitely gives you a lot of extra spending money for the little amount of work it takes to get started. On to passive income stream number four, property renting. Nowadays, you do not have to have multiple houses to make money renting out your property. People are actually listing their garages and backyards on websites like Airbnb, and people are actually paying to stay there just to avoid the expensive hotel prices. The awesome thing about this money-making method that makes it so passive is that much of the time, the host of these properties never even meet the people that rent them. By setting up a listing of a property online with which a lot of people use Airbnb, the website basically does all the work when it comes to people finding your listing and making reservations. Especially if you are renting out a property that you're not actually living on, the only time hosts typically come in contact with the renter is when the people renting the place have a specific issue. The lights aren't working, the curtains keep catching on fire, things like that. Otherwise, there's really no reason for the host to meet up with their guest which means people can be paying to rent your property in Hawaii while you're off snowboarding in Switzerland, which is what makes this so passive. Some people actually make a living doing this and they make thousands of dollars a month renting out multiple properties. And with all that extra money, they can ultimately afford to hire out more help to take care of guest problems so that they can focus more on the things that they enjoy. This may be a bit more of a complex way of establishing a passive income stream, but still, you can make this cash in your sleep. So it made it onto the list. And finally, for number five, drop shipping. This is probably the most somewhat complicated way of making passive income on this list, but also potentially the most profitable. Drop shipping is basically the process of buying products from one company at one price and then reselling those products to customers for a higher price and keeping the profit. It may seem kind of sketchy, but it's actually quite legal and there are many normal everyday people that do it for a living. Companies like Shopify have actually developed websites seemingly catered to this kind of business. 
Nowadays, people can get started in minutes and have their online store set up in as little as a couple of hours. And what makes this business so passive is the fact that once you set up your online store, what kind of products you're wanting to sell, etc., the model begins to work for you without you really having to do much more. I personally don't know the explicit details of how this whole process works, but I do know that people have used dropshipping to free themselves from the slavery of their corporate jobs and have been far more financially successful than they would have been if they had stayed with their 9 to 5. You most likely will have some growing pains in the beginning, but once you get all your upfront dues paid and figure out the whole system, some dropshippers make more than $100,000 every month with this passive income stream. And keep in mind that all those transactions being made by your customers are being processed automatically without your constant management, which is why dropshipping is considered to be so passive and why I had to add it to the list. With all that being said though don't interpret these methods to be get rich quick schemes or how to make money without working passive income is mainly just a way to make money that gives you more freedom and essentially liberates you from the constraints of a nine to five job not a way to be lazy and get out of working no matter what you do you're still going to have to work for it you just may go about it in unconventional ways sometimes you have to go through what you don't necessarily want to go through and do what you don't necessarily want to do to get to where you want to be. So I hope you found this video interesting, entertaining, educational, etc. I hope it helped you and answered some of your questions. If you have any more questions or inspirational quotes, comment below because I read them all. Don't be afraid to like this video if it helped you. Thanks for watching this week's episode and I hope you subscribe to Skill Sanctum so you don't miss the upcoming videos and I will see you in the next one.